So this April, our fundraising campaign has started. We are in that private phase that Carlos referred to. And next year, around the summer solstice, we are going to launch our public campaign to raise 20 million. Now, 20 million doesn't seem a lot in relation to the audacious goal. That's what we've identified we need. But it is a lot in terms of solar rate. That's a three, four-fold increase on what we would usually expect to raise over a three-year period. So from setting that goal to being in campaign mode has taken us three years, which is why you need to take your time with urgency. And we're now entering a new phase. I find there are three types of donors. There are those that lead. So the major donor who has funded our switch from um, air freight to sea freight, or our expansion into Uganda that happens this year, um, the failure funder. Then there are those that attract others, major donors who offer up match giving, and funders too. The major donor helped us engage the Scottish Government. And then there are those attracted by others, and this is the phase we're now entering. But all of them need success. And the great thing about a BHAG is it needs them. And that's why it's such a fantastic fundraising com concept. Look at the impact we've had already. Our major giving has, has grown fantastically, as has our fundraising programme. On the ground, we have reached a million lights. And our target for this year is to distribute and sell another million lights to achieve in one year what has taken us six. It doesn't matter if we fail. It's all, I'm, I remember feeling that when I got to that triathlon moment. Didn't matter if I didn't make it, I was already fitter, I was already training regularly. But succeed we will, because we are engaging all sorts of exciting institutions, individuals and corporates right now. And so in a year's time, I like to think of it on that platform, it will be like a winning football team with a star-studded cast, with the right manager and the sponsor that you think they're going to do this. So, just to conclude, look around. And I can't see real BHAGs amongst our sector. And yet we tackle some of the biggest social issues that confront us. Think about the impact it could have, about how it could get the entire workforce <coughs> behind a single goal. How it could help us collaborate together. Anyone can set a BHAG. A small <coughs> organisation like SolarAid and a big organisation too. After all, it doesn't get much bigger than the United States of America, does it? Um, who set the most famous BHAG, I thought in 1961, but you say in 62. That's what Wikipedia said. And they achieved it on the 21st of July, 1969, with five months to spare. So, ask, do you have a BHAG? And if you, if you don't, ask your leadership, what's our BHAG? And get ready, because once you start, you can't stop.